Okay, today we're looking at a series of tutorials in Python. Uh, basically, taking some functionality if you're used to bash scripts, basically using uh, a Unix based command line. Uh, there are commands you can use, um, and we're trying to look at the, the alternative th to those in Python. Um, this request came from GotBled2. If you haven't checked out his YouTube channel, check it out. He does a lot of good videos. And today we're going to be looking at. Well, in Linux, if I type in, or any Unix-based system, ls, and I hit enter, it lists out all the files in the current directory. As you can see here, I have some fake files I just created. Um, so ls lists out the files in the current directory, and I can go also go ls, and I can say something like asterisk.txt, and it will only list files that are something.txt. So we're going to do that same thing in Python today. Uh, so, I'm going to just go into the Python environment, the Python console, by typing Python. Currently using Python 2.7.1. And um, we're going to import two modules to, to be able to do this functionality. So, we're going to say import. The first one's going to be fn match, which I believe stands for file name match. That's what I'm going with, because at least it makes sense in this tutorial. And import. OS. Now the OS module is a very important module. It's something we really should use all the time. It has a lot of great functionality interacting with the operating system such as like we're doing today looking at files but also allows you to run system commands and it even has a, a functionality OS.path that allows you to um, to put in paths regardless of what operating system you're on. So for example on uh, Apple, uh, Linux, BSD, Unix, basically every operating system but Windows, your file system is going to be forward slashes, forward slash home, forward slash user. Um, but in a Windows operating system, you're going to have backslashes, C colon backslash, program files backslash. Well, let's say you're creating a program. Well, I'm getting off topic here. But this will allow you to uh, access uh, folders regardless of whether they're forward slashes or backslashes with the OS. So that's another functionality of OS. I think I've done tutorials on it before. If not, I need to because that's an important uh, thing to make your scripts compatible. Anyway, getting off topic here, OS is a great module. Uh, we really need to look into it more if I haven't done too many tutorials on it. It's been a while if I have. So anyway, at this point, I'm going to create a simple for loop. I'm going to type for and then I'm going to create a variable. Uh, this variable can be anything you want within reason. I would say avoid special characters and spaces. But I'm going to create a variable called file. Once again, up to you what you call it. And we're going to say for file in. And we're going to say use our OS module here. So OS dot. And we're going to use a function of the OS module called list dir list directory. So it's going to list everything in a directory. We need to tell what directory we want to list files in. So here in parentheses and inside single quotes, we can say something like forward slash, which would just be our root directory. Uh, and then we'll do a, a colon here. So basically this for loop is just like a for loop in bash. It's going to loop through each line um, or each item within this um, whatever OS lister uh, outputs. But we need it lists that, but we need to display what it's listing. So we're going to say print file. So basically this is a lot like using a uh, while read loop in bash. So let's say you cat out a file and you say type it into while read. It will do something with each line. And in this case we're just going to print out that line. So I'll go ahead and hit enter twice here. Um, and you can see it listed out basically mostly folders, maybe a couple of files in my root directory. Let's do the same thing again. We're going to say for uh, fi oop, file in os.lister and then we're going to say forward slash etc in this case. So I'm going to look at everything inside my etc folder. I'm going to do a colon there and then I can say print and don't forget this is a, a loop here so you have to indent uh, somewhat. I just, I'm just doing one space in this case. We're going to say print file so it's going to once again print each line or each item that it finds inside that directory. There we go. And these are all my files and folders within that directory. Now, if you want to do your current working directory, your present working directory, the directory that you are in, um, all you have to do is put a dot, just like you would in a bash command line um, dot 
represents your current working directory. So we'll go ahead and hit enter, space, print, file, and there we go. We have um, all the files in our current directory, which we looked at at the beginning in bash when I typed in ls, this is what we got. But we also were able to look at particular files. So let's say we want to only look at files that end in .txt, so anything .txt. Well, we just add one more line to our for loop, we'll add an if statement. So we're going to say this is where that fn module that we imported comes in. It's going to look at each file name and if it equals something, then print that line or that item. So we'll say for file in os dot lister inside the parentheses and inside single quotes we'll put a period there for current directory we'll do a colon here enter indent we'll say if fn match so we're using the fn module and within that fn module so dot we're going to use a function called fn match and then we're going to take it and we're going to say okay look at our variable file which is going to be each item as we loop through here and only output ones that are anything.txt don't forget your colon here and then also don't forget to indent here we'll say print file so at this point we're looping through every item every file or folder inside this directory and if that file matches asterisk.txt we are going to print that file but if it doesn't print it if it doesn't match it we're not going to print it it's going to go ahead and hit enter and there we go we got three files my file.txt file.txt and file2.txt now we can do the same thing i'm going to just hit up arrow a few times here to go back in commands so we're going to run that for loop again run that if statement again but let's change it to og so we're only going to look at og files inside this folder and then of course we're going to print that file name and there we go we've got one file called uh, tutorial.og uh, so uh, we got our for loop just to review we imported two modules we imported our os module and our fn match module and we're using a function out of each of them although each of them has probably more than one function as we were talking about earlier and we're just going to say for file in os.list directory so we're using the os module the list directory function lister we're using the current directory so we have a dot in there and then if the variable that we're using which we created right here matches these parameters then do whatever we tell it here in this case we're just printing out the file name although you can have it do other things you can have it you know um, print the file name with some other information whatever you want um, so that was a little quick let me quickly let's just throw this all into a script so you can see what it looks like in a script I press control V uh, control D there to get out I'm gonna use Vim as my text editor and I will create a file called um, ls.py how about that I'm going to um, start off with my shebang line this basically tells our operating system what type of script this is because as far as our operating system is concerned this is just a text file of some sort and this first line is telling it use the environment Python Python interpreter then we're going to import fn match and you can do it on another line or on the same line using a comma we'll say OS so we're importing both those modules and we're going to say for file in OS lister just as we did inside the Python environment and we'll list out things in our current directory it's going to using Vim is nice if you have uh, color coding setting up like this you can see your mistakes uh, a bit easier I'm now going to say if fn match dot fn match and we're going to say give it that variable we created comma and inside quotations let's do single quotes just doesn't really matter either way in this case I don't think um, asterisk.txt don't forget our colon here once again indent now you can set up vim to indent a certain amount of spaces when you hit tab uh, I don't just don't have that set up right now and then we'll print that out so that's our script right there I'll save that 
make it executable using change mod plus x and the name of our script and I can just run that with dot slash and the name of our script and there we go it lists out those three files and of course in a more elaborate script you could actually do stuff with those files within that loop so I thank you for watching I thank you for uh, got bled to for uh, bringing uh, these tutorials to mind um, and I have a bunch more out today so be sure to check out the playlist hopefully there's an annotation somewhere and um, Please visit filmsbychris.com. Check out the link in the description. Hopefully I'll remember to post this script there so you can download it, although I, I recommend typing it out yourself. It'll help you remember better. And I just hope that you have a great day.